So, in this lecture, I am going to talk about the relativistic motion of a charged particle in constant electric field. And the field is E. So, the equation of motion for this can be written as is rate of change of momentum it must be equal to and it is equal to e, e and it is a vector quantity and it is also vector quantity <coughs> now let us write down this in terms of uh, various components and let us choose a coordinate system system such that x axis is along the motion of the particle so therefore x component of rate of change of momentum it must be equal to E, whereas the rest of the component will become zero. equal to zero We are considering motion in xy plane. So keeping this in mind and if I integrate these equations so their integral gives me px is equal to m not p x over 1 minus p square over c square it is e e t and p y is equal to m not p y 1 minus p square over c square sorry under root should be here and here it is equal to p naught and p z must be equal to 0 because I am considering motion along x y plane Right, so that's what we are getting here. So these are the three equations which we are getting for momentum in different components. And let me call this equation as A1 and let me call this equation as A2 and this equation as A3. So particle motion is along x, y, that's why pz must be equal to zero. Now, let us find out expression for energy 
as we know that energy E is equal to this energy, and it is the relativistic energy, I'm not C square. Right, and this can be written as C square plus M not square C square under the root. This is a standard expression for it. Because energy square is equal to C square plus M not square C square. This is a standard expression for energy. Also, we know that this momentum square is equal to Px square, Py square and Pz square. And if I substitute their values, Px square, Py and the Pz square, so what is Px? As we have calculated earlier, Py and Pz. Pz will be 0 and Px is E, E, T, and it is C naught. So if I substitute these values here, so it will become E square, E square. T square. Plus P naught square plus 0 square. Also, relativistic energy is M not M not C square over 1 minus C square over C square under the root. And But this is also equal to C square P square M naught square C square under the root. So sorry, C should not it, it should not be there. And substituting value of this here, it is C. It is E square E square T square plus P naught square plus M naught square C square and whole under the root. I've used this value in this case. So therefore, This can be rewritten as C P naught square M naught square C square plus E square E square into T square raised to power one by two. Now what I will do I will reconsider the equation. I will reconsider the equation. What was that equation? That Px is equal to m naught Vx over 1 minus V square over C square under the root. E E T so from here P X C square can be written as M naught C square over one minus C square over C square under the root this is nothing but this term now is basically relativistic 
kinetic energy uh, sorry relativistic energy and dx is also sitting with it right so that means i can write down p x c square is equal to or dx comes out to be dx square by epsilon or the relativistic kinetic energy therefore dx can be expressed as dx c square upon if i put its value because i know that this is nothing what is equal to Mm, C P square as I know that this is equal to P not square plus M not square C square plus E square E square P square whole raised to power one by two and it is C. So keeping this in mind, my expression for it will become it is C P not square M not square C square plus E square E square p square under the root so now it will cancel out with it and the value of px is nothing but e e t it is the value of this i have used from here c will be there divided by P not square m not square c square plus e square e square t square under the root. What is so? Then e e t c and if I take e square e square common from here and if it can be taken outside the square root then it will remain as e e and rest of the term will become c not square m not square c square divided by e square e square plus t square so it can be expressed in this form so this will cancel out with it so it is equal to ct upon t square plus p not square plus m not square c square divided by e square capital e square whole under the Whole under the root. Similarly, we can find the expression for v y. So now, what is v y? P by is equal to P by is equal to m not P by over one minus P square over C square under the root. So from here, 
g by can be calculated as t by 1 minus t square over c square under the root upon m naught upon m naught so if i multiply it by c square and this by c square so this can be written as and this quantity will become a relativistic mass it's reciprocal so it is p by c square over epsilon but p y is equal to p naught as we have earlier stated so this will become and substituting the value of this in terms of momentum so it is p naught c square whole divided by c p naught square plus m naught square c square plus e square e square t square whole under the root whole under the root right so if i will do this then this c will cancel out with this therefore this cp not so it is cp not upon e square e square t square plus p not square plus m not square c square under the root so now let us find out the value of x and y So now we have to integrate this v x and the v y. So v x is. what is equal to ct upon p square plus p not square plus m not square c square divided by e square e square and hold this to power 1 by 2 so if i integrate it then it gives me the value of x so that means let me integrate it so if i integrate it then i can get the value of x so let us see how it can be integrated so for the integration let us assume that this t square plus p naught square m naught square c square over e square e square this is equal to say capital x 
so that means 2t dt is equal to dx so i can express it as t dt is equal to dx by 2 so therefore the integral part means ct over t square plus p not square plus m not square and c square divided by e square e square 1 by 2 into dt can be expressed as c by 2 c by 2 dx over root x and its integral is nothing but is equal to c x raised to power 1 by 2 so therefore it is equal to c and the substituting value of this capital x and the capital x which i assume to be it is t square plus t naught square m naught square c square divided by e square e square one by two so therefore the value of this integral is nothing but is equal to x so now x is c t square sorry i expressed it i i write down it here i am not square c square e square e square plus t square and whole under the root 1 by 2 so this is a way that how the value of x can be calculated now let us calculate the value of uh, y so now let us try to find out the value of y so as you know that dy is equal to p y c square y e sorry and it is equal to cp naught upon e square e square t square plus p naught square plus m naught square c square whole under the root now i have to integrate it so if i take its integral P not square, I'm not square, C square under the root dt. As I know that that one over x square plus a square under the root dx is integral is equal to find hyperbolic inverse x over a if I use this value then sorry if I use this so for this what I will do I will just re-express it so it can be written as cp naught upon e square e square it can be taken outside 
the integral sorry uh, outside the root so if i take it outside the root so it will come as a e e and inside it here it will become p square plus p not square m not square c square divided by e square p square so it can be expressed in this form and it is a dp right so keeping this formula in mind so this can be expressed as cp not upon e e sin hyperbolic inverse this is t in place of x t is t square t is sitting and in place of a this term is sitting so it is c not square plus m not square c square divided by e square and the e square whole under the root this term can be expressed as p not square because we have to write down it in the form of square so in the form of square this can be written in this form that's why i am writing square root here and this after modification like modification to this term leads to p not upon e e sin hyperbolic inverse this can go here if it is taken outside the root and if it is arranged so this is the expression for y so now the value of x is this one c p not square plus m not square c square it is e square into capital e square plus t square whole raised to power 1 by 2 and y is c p not over e e sin hyperbolic inverse e e t over p not square plus m not square c square as i have to find out the motion or the equation of the trajectory so for that what i have to do i have to find out the value of p from this equation and back substitute in the value of x so for this this can be written as e e c p not y is equal to sin hyperbolic inverse e e t over p not square m not square c square raised to power 1 by 2 so it can be written as sin hyperbolic e e over c p not into y is equal to e e t over p e not square plus m not square c square raised to power 1 by 2 so that means p can be written as this <coughs> i bring this towards this side so p is nothing but is equal to p e not square m not square c square whole under the root divided by e e sin hyperbolic e e over c p not into y so this is the value of this so therefore t square can be expressed as it is p not square plus m not square c square and e square p e square Sin hyperbolic square e e c 
e p naught into y this is the value of p square now we have to substitute this value in x and so when i substitute this value for x then x will become c p naught square plus m naught square c square divided by e square e square plus p naught square plus m naught square c square divided by e square e square sine hyperbolic square e e y over c p naught raised to power 1 by 2 it can be taken outside from these two terms so it is uh, p naught square m naught square c square divided by e square e square raised to power 1 by 2 and here it is 1 plus sine hyperbolic square e e y upon c p naught raised to power 1 by 2 and this is nothing but it is cos hyperbolic square e e y over c p naught so that means this x is now x can be written as this x can be written as C over E E P naught square M naught square C square raised to power one by two. It is cos hyperbolic square E E Y over C P naught. This whole under the root, so square will cancel out with the square root. So it is. E E E P naught square M naught square C square is to power 1 by 2 and it is cos hyperbolic E E by over C P naught. So this is the required equation of the curve and this like this equation is like catenary curve. Catenary curve. It's a U-like curve. Looks like parabola, but not exactly parabola. For example, if I tied a string between these two points tightly, and if I lose these points slightly, means if they are they brought here, then this curve which I am getting. Right, so this is known as catenary curve. So this is the trajectory of the particle in this case. Right. So catenary curve, it's not a parabola. But for non-relativistic case, the trajectory is parabolic. Parabolic. But here the trajectory is catenary for the relativistic case. Right? So with this uh, article will be closed. So thanks for watching this video.